Well, I think it's, it's always nice to sleep in your own bed. You don't have to worry about, you know, traveling. You don't have to worry about missed flight connections, losing luggage. You don't have to worry about, you know, uh, you know, is, is the hotel, you know, perfect, et cetera, et cetera. You know, you know what you're getting into. You're sleeping in your own bed. Uh, we know the course, obviously. It's, it's a course we, uh, we train on. Um, it's a course we've raced on. That's will be the fourth meet we've competed on on this year. And so, yeah, there's some, and, and, you, and you have friends and family out there that are, and teammates, et cetera, et cetera, cheering you on. And they know your name and stuff, and it's not, uh, it, it's not a bunch of strangers. So we'll always, we'll always be excited about, about competing at home for sure. The Aggie men placing second at the SEC uh, Cross Country Championships. Going into this regional, who is the big competition for this team? Who are y'all really focusing on, and what do they have to do to advance to the national championship? Yeah, on the men's side, I mean, Arkansas is the clear, the clear cut favorite. I mean, they, they, won, they, they won the SEC meet. We were second to them. Um, in the current regional rankings, uh, you know, Texas is ranked second. We're ranked third. Um, Texas beat us pretty handily early in the season, but we've been running better and better as the season goes on. And, and so we like to think we're in that, that, that hunt, you know, for that, that, that second automatic spot. You know, we know we're going to have to run well. Um, the guys have great momentum. I mean, we've just kept running better and better. You know, Notre Dame, Alabama, the SEC meet, every meet we've just gotten a little bit better. And that's kind of what the challenge has been to them all year, just get a little bit better each week. Um, you know, then, then, you know, ranked, you, you don't want to put anything past the teams that are ranked behind us either. I mean, Lamar, SFA, those teams went one, two in a tight battle in the Southland Conference meet. And they, you know, I mean, Lamar has a history of bringing in a great group of international athletes. And so I'm, I'm sure in the back of their mind, they've got a target on our, we've got a target on our back for those teams. So, um, but it's nice to be in this position where we legitimately go into the meet feeling like we're a national level team. And if we do what we're capable of doing, we'll be right in the hunt and somebody will add up the points and tell us whether we got second, third, or whatever. Women's side, no slouch themselves. What's their mindset heading into this, uh, into this NCAA regional? How confident are they heading into the, uh, into the main? Well, I know Karis Yokin is very confident. I mean, she has consistently been running better and better this year than she ever has before. Um, she steps in the, you know, follows in the footsteps of, you know, two All-Americans who were teammates last year. She kind of learned from them, and now she's kind of, you know, taking on the, the responsibility and the role of being the team leader. Um, you know, and, and, and as a team, you know, we, we did lose a couple of our significant women on the team to, to injuries earlier this season. But, you know, the great thing about this women's team is they've grown as a team and they've been getting better and better. And, and, and the goal is really, you know, you know we, we think we can finish in the top five. And, it's, and the crazy thing is it's really wide open on the women's side. It, it, you know, the, the Arkansas is a clear-cut favorite, but after that it's really wide open. You know, and, and so I don't want to put us out of the, you know, on paper it doesn't look like we'd have a chance to make it as a team, but these girls have been running better and better each, each, each time out. So, you know, we're going to go in there and compete and see what, what, uh, see what happens. We've got a history of showing up at the regional meet and running really well. I mean, it's kind of part of our tradition, you know, uh, of putting together good races at the end of the season, which is the goal.